Hello guys, welcome to another video with Cass on the Muslim channel. So a few weeks ago I showed you guys this device, uh, which is a pulse length decoder or DMUX, which means it's capable of uh, taking input, input from a single redstone line and outputting uh, a pulse corresponding to the exact amount of redstone ticks, the, corresponding to the duration of the pulse, that's what it means. But I never showed you guys how to actually encode the pulse or how to generate different pulse lengths. And there are many ways of doing that and this is what I have to show you today because I think this is worth sharing because this is so ridiculous, it's so simple guys. So check this out, if I press this button I am kind of aligned the encoder and decoder at the back so that it's easy to read. So the corresponding lamp is going to be activated and information once again is transmitted through a single wire uh, that I maybe can show you better. <laughs> okay, and it even works with the one tick pulse, which is amazing. So yeah, I, I don't think you guys need a tutorial for this. It's just this guys, there's nothing below here. <laughs> it's just this wire comparators uh, and at the end you need, a, you need a pair of hoppers facing each other with a single item inside. And uh, here, comparator followed by repeater. And this is an important trick that we are using here, not only because the single item in here is going to make it output only uh, signal strength level 1, so you need to, am to amplify the signal by using a repeater, but also because for the one tick pulse, which is a special case, the item is going to be moved out of this dropper so quickly uh, that this, the comparator will kind of sense it, but never get updated unless we have uh, and that is followed by a repeater in here. Uh, actually, let me show you that you can take output from this other side in here. Uh, because it, it kind of feels like this. these devices are merged, but no. The whole idea here is that uh, you can send the information through a single wire like this. Oops. Okay, redstone dust. I can break this connection in here. And then just do this. I can have as many repeaters as I want in the in the middle. Uh, I just cannot do something like this because this can, well, just don't do that. <laughs> but I can have as many uh, repeaters as needed. And uh, yeah, here's the one tick pulse. Here's the 15 tick pulse. So you can see this working. So watch the comparators. So see. So the way this works basically is very elegant actually. Uh, I can press any button and then uh, this guy is going to move the item from this dropper to the next dropper and then uh, the, the item is going to be detected by the comparator. Uh, but because this has uh, signal strength level 14, I can break the circuit to show you guys that cakes have output a signal strength level of 14. And because also, uh, let me place a comparator here, also because those uh, have to be on uh, comparison mode rather than subtraction mode. Uh, the signal strength level of 15 that uh, is being outputted by the, the button is going to empower one of the comparators and then the empowered comparator propagates the signal and this keeps adding delay, 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 delay until the item, uh, the torch is powered and the item gets back in place here so that uh, a pulse is generated with the exact pulse length that you selected in here. So this system cannot be uh, expanded further than 15, I don't think. Uh, but if you wanna, if you wanna have uh, at least not without a gap between the buttons, but if you wanna see a infinitely expandable encoder, I also made a video about that. Uh, I think some a few years ago, maybe like, maybe last year, I don't know. So I will leave you guys uh, some link in the video description. Uh, and because sometimes some of you guys ask for some examples of what to do with a transmission system such as this, uh, here is a simple example. So uh, I hooked up this encoder to the decoder back there and the decoder is actually trying to control this seven segment display in here. There is a counter that I hooked up, counter at the back here, that I hooked up to this display. So basically I can uh, select different functions. So if I press the first button, it increases the value in here. So yeah, I can keep pressing the button. It's going to send short pulses that will increase the value of the counter and then uh, the value is going to be displayed here. I can also decrease the value, so it's going to be a 3 there, and I can reset the counter by pressing this button in the middle. So see, and I can access all of these functions and transmit uh, the, the 
uh, the, the commands through a single wire in here. This is one of the applications. You can use this as a scoreboard for a mini game for sure. Uh, and I also wanted to uh, show you how to extend this, for instance. So see, we are using only three values in here. I can like have the cake in there. Redstone dust here. Alternate the color. And there we go. We have another output in here, but this guy is not going to be hooked up to anything, so the detector back there is not going to do anything. In order to expand this, you just have to add one line in here. Uh, here. Here. I'm just adding a new function, guys, to this. So, as you, as you guys saw, we are able to increase and decrease uh, and reset. And now I'm going to add, I'm going, I'm going to add a function that lets uh, the system basically uh, turn off the display. So maybe repeater and piston and guy. All right. Hopefully it's not going to interfere with anything here. Okay, so let's try this. So now if we press the new button that we have just created, it's going to unpower the circuit and uh, basically turning off the display. Uh, we could also block the other inputs or something like that, but basically we can also increase the value in here to whatever value we want and then turn off the display. And the value will be kept in there because the counter keeps the memory. So when I turn it back on, it's going to preserve the value in there. So this is, this is just a simple example to show you guys uh, what you can do uh, by sending commands remotely to uh, devices. And uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you do. Goodbye.